Welcome to the Artist Hour. I'm just messing with you. Reverse engineering news. This week, I've got something a little different for you. Say you want to start reverse engineering. Where do you start? How do you start? It can be very paralyzing, right? You start reading things. You're watching things. You're watching this. You're watching all of my content on my channel. You're subscribing and liking every single video. Thank you for that. As you're doing that, it, wh where do you begin? It's very paralyzing. What, what device should you take apart? Has somebody already done that or not? All these kinds of questions that get in the way of just doing. If you didn't have all of this, if you didn't have the internet, if you didn't have these videos, what would you do? You'd just grab a screwdriver and you'd take the thing apart. And you'd see what you see. Maybe you see something, maybe you don't. Maybe you dig in a little more. Maybe you play with it a bit. This book talks a lot about that. About getting stuck. And about moving beyond the getting stuck. Uh, it's what led to me creating this show, Reverse Engineering News. Just thinking about what I share, how I share it, what else is out there, and what would be interesting. As I was reading that book, it struck me that perhaps uh, I'm an artist. Perhaps you're an artist. Uh, I've gone down this journey of technical things for the longest time. You know, technical things are comforting. People think technical things are hard. To me, technical things are very easy. There's a right answer. That's tough. That's kind of almost not real in a sense, right? In math, in science, uh, two plus two is four. Well, you can prove that. Someone can say they don't like it. It doesn't matter if they like it or not. You know you're right. In artistic endeavors, that's not really the case, is it? You can paint something. Someone can say, that sucks. Are they right or are you right? I mean, it, everybody interprets it differently. These books, as I was reading them, helped me realize that probably a part of myself I killed off a long time ago. And I went down this path of, I'm going to do things that are objectively right. You know, when you paint something, when you draw something, someone tells you it, it's not good. That hurts, especially when you're young. And so you quickly learn, I'm going to do something where I know I'm right and other people know I'm right. And I think a lot of people in technical fields you know, they, they might have great artistic abilities, but at some point they, they killed off that part or they just said, that's not me. I, I'm not that person. And so they didn't invest any time in it. Instead, they invested time in this other stuff. That led me down a path to this book called The Artist's Way. Now, I'm only part of the way through it, and every week they have you do a different challenge. And this week, the challenge is... A no consuming any kind of content. No reading books, no reading stuff online, no watching TV, no watching shows, no scrolling TikTok, no watching YouTube. Literally not feeding any kind of noise into the system. For seven days, so an entire week. I told my wife this, and she said, oh my God, how are you going to survive 24 hours? I said, no, no, not a day, a week, an entire week. Uh, this is day three right now that I'm on. Uh, it's very, uh, at first, you, you, you grab your phone, you grab things instinctively almost. Like it's a reflex. I have to look at something. I'm sitting at Starbucks. I have to look at something. Uh, but eventually, uh, you know, that, that kind of goes away and you start paying attention to what's around you. Um, and all of this is to learn more about myself as opposed to go find what has someone else done uh, what is this thing how do I do it like they did it you know why do I want to do it like they did it I want to do it like what I feel that's what's interesting that's what's interesting for you if you do something that's truly an expression of yourself other people find that interesting uh, replicating stuff that's out there that's great at first you have to kind of replicate to start out to to learn. But once you've gotten good at that, once you've learned those things, it's about creating something of your own, something that's uniquely you. And so these other books I had on my bookshelf, I thought it was interesting as I looked at it. You know, the, the seminal book on electronics is The Art of Electronics. I have hacking, The Art of Exploitation. As you get further into things, it, it really is a creative, artistic thing. And I think that, um, I think if you spent some time 
uh, reading and, and learning about it, looking at this book, uh, The War of Art. It's a quick, easy read. I think you'll, I think you'll, I think a lot of it will resonate with you. And, and I think that's because a lot of people that do what we do, um, killed off a part of ourselves early on. And, and when you bring that part back, uh, it only makes you better. Thanks for watching.